and people, welcome to the LV Live show. I'm LV Live. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Once again, I want to thank all the new subscribers who have come by to my channel, man. It is truly, truly appreciated, right? So breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. As of yesterday, the Knicks traded away Nolan's Noel and Alec Burks to the Detroit Piston, Pistons with uh, two second round picks along with cash, right? So based on the reports, Moreover, Ian Begley, Wojciechowski, ESPN, everybody. Uh, it's pretty much a push, you know, as we all suspected for Jalen Brunson, right? So um, with this move, along with the Kemba move, it clears up $30 million of cap space. So now the Knicks have the money to really uh, make him an offer um, that he may not, you know, he's not going to want to refuse. Because I don't, you know, based on the reports, I think Dallas was willing to offer him about $85 million. Uh, the Knicks are a little bit willing to go a little bit higher. Um, or from about a hundred million, um, so I think that's a you know it's a big deal. Um, it's, a, it's a good get. I don't think it's the end all be all move. I was I'm not you know I don't think the Knicks should mortgage the whole future and give away all their picks for Brunson. I, I I think he's a good solid player, but I don't think he's worth that. But um, he is still a good player, right? So if we could bring him in, um, that can it's in it's an added plus. Um, but also too. By not giving him that big of a contract or a max deal, it leaves room and area and money still for them to sign Big Mitch. Because now with them getting rid of Nolan's Noel, there's, there's no big down there. So, you know, um, they, they need to sign Big Mitch. They have to. Um, and I think that, you know, if they have some money free now, they can offer him that. Uh, but there is a market out there for Big Mitch, so they got to kind of be prepared to, uh, you know, make, make a nice offer. Because you know he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna get some looks, you know, because he played real, really 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 well for us last year. Uh, you know he's a big, young, great upside. Um, so um, yeah, it, you know, like I said, it leaves us room to make that offer to him as well. Um, but with giving Brunson also too, now we gotta start thinking of other pieces now because I don't think with him being a ball dominant scoring guard and RJ on the wing. And Julius, that's not going to work, right? Because because you're going to have too too many ball dominant guys. Now you're going to have three ball dominant guys. Um, and in order for this to work, uh, someone's got to take a back seat, and it's not going to be Julius, right? So, um, I kind of see the Knicks moving on from him. Uh, they got the picks to do it, so I think that with the picks and with the contract with Julius, I think it can make it to where it can free up more money. It's so possible where we can get like you know a stretch four or something like that um, to go well to mix well and gel with the offense. You know, you know kind of similar to the big three guys. Remember when, when Bosch, Wade, and, Le and LeBron came together. You know, someone had to take a back seat as far as um, numbers and as far as shots being put up, ball dominance. Um, and and with his it was Bosch. So um, you know he wasn't nearly the ball dominant player and the dominant player that he was in Toronto when he was with Miami. Right. So. Someone's, you know, like I said, someone's got to take a back seat, you know. And with, with way RJ came on strong last year, he had a breakout season. Um, also, too, with you know, Brunson having a breakout season, those guys aren't going to defer to Julius. They're, they're just not. And with him being emotional and stuff like that, it's, it's just not going to work. And with the rise of Obi, they're going to have to make some moves in regards to kind of like you know, kind of taking care of that spot because I think a stretch four will probably be better. Um, and would yell more with the offense uh, than a ball dominant wing like 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 Julius, right? So, um, to me, that's the move that the Knicks should be looking to make after they seal up this Brunson deal, and uh, after they, of course, they lock in Big Mitch, right? Because that's also a big get. So um, it should be, should be exciting, but I don't think the Knicks are done by any way, shape, or form. You know, after they pretty much you know get this Brunson thing done, like I said, um, I think there's going to still be a lot of moves. For them to make before the season starts so um big news guys big news big news so it's looking like you know the knicks are pretty much going to be making a really really strong push at brunson so we'll see what happens all right well, that's my show i'm lv live please hit that like share subscribe button hit that like button hit that like button people all right also too please leave comments so we can go back and forth debate all right that's my show i'm lv live and i appreciate you guys coming by i'm out Peace.